Uh, hello learners, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is CPL Senaka. Uh, under this channel, we will be doing much of business data analytics offered and examined by Casnep. Uh, welcome. Uh, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Feel at home. So, uh, so today we'll be looking at some theoretical part of business data analytics and that is uh, big data and uh, big data analytics Le welcome okay as i was saying so we'll begin big data big data usually include data sets with sizes beyond the ability of commonly used software tools to capture curate manage and process the data within a tolerable elapsed time Big data usually comprise of a mixture of structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. So what we are saying is that uh, big data, this is data that has sizes beyond the commonly used software tools to capture, curate, manage and process within a tolerable elapsed time. Like the data is too big for the software, so for, for the commonly used software tools. So we find that this big data is in terabytes and petabytes it's very like the size is very large and also we are seeing that big data usually comprise of structured semi-structured and unstructured data structured data this is data that has a structure like we can say that um, uh, structured data like the data is arranged semi-structured an arranged unstructured data is not arranged like under an unstructured data we can find images videos text so 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 that makes it unstructured but this is structured you can see if it's audio it's audio if it's text it's just text so it's structured semi-structured is combining unstructured and structured data so after that we go to big data analytics so big data analytics is a complex process of examining big data to discover trends patterns and other correlations as well as making data driven decisions like in the current situation most organizations are data centric that is they depend on the data analysis to make decisions business decisions so big data analytics is the process of analyzing large volumes of diverse data sets using advanced analytical techniques uh, big data analytics is a form of advanced analytics which involves complex applications with elements such as predictive models statistical algorithms and what if analysis powered by analytic systems so under here we like you to consider the predictive model and uh, what if analysis because these are things that you will encounter and uh, the practical parts so after that we go to the five base of big data actually there are six the first one is the uh, volume the volume this this is the size the size you see big data is usually in terabytes and petabytes variety this is type and nature of of data you see big data especially the unstructured data draws from text images audio videos plus it has missing values through data fusion and then we go to velocity velocity this uh, the speed at which the data is being generated and processed to meet the demands and challenges that lie in the path so so uh, and under under velocity we have two types of velocities the first velocity is the frequency of generation and the second one is the frequency of handling recording and publishing like the first uh, i will say uh, generation how how the frequency of generation how many times is it being generated and it's so often to note that um, big data is usually generated in real time and it's produced continuously so 
not that and uh, veracity the truth faces of the data referring to data quality and data value like uh, you see veracity is the reliability of the data is this data that you are uh, is this big data reliable can we rely because and data with without the quality can it greatly affects the accuracy of analysis like the, if the data is incorrect and it's not reliable even the analysis is not reliable it's incorrect so the veracity, veracity is the truthfulness or reliability then the value the value this is the worth as in the benefits the benefits of analyzing this large data set can we, are we getting something from this or we are just analyzing because we are analyzing like do we have a value in it so that is the value in it and then the sixth one is variability variability this is the changing char- characteristics they say the format the structures the sources you see big data big data includes structured semi structured and unstructured data so you find that this data will be coming in from different sources and uh, it would be in different formats and in different structures so that is variability then after that now we go to types of data analytics we have descriptive analytics uh, descriptive analytics these are usually uh, simplifies and summarizes past data into readable forms uh, giving out uh, pattern strength and uh, what happened actually descriptive analysis is what happened because it's in the past we see descriptive analysis helps in creating reports like company revenue profits and sales like what happened i uh, i'm sorry after descriptive analytics then we have predictive before 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 pre- predictive we have something here is called diag- diagnostic analytics diagnostic analytics this one is why it happened this one tries to explain why it happened and then we have predictive analysis predictive analysis are concerned with predicting the future eg customer trends market trends it uses both historical and present data to predict future events so like what might happen predictive analysis mean what might happen okay predictive analysis is what might happen in the future under specified assumption then we have prescriptive analysis what will we do Pres- prescriptive analysis this explores several possible actions and suggest action depending on the results of the descriptive and predictive analytics of a given data set like i can say right? descriptive analytics descriptive analysis this shows what happened diagnostic analysis this shows why it happened predictive analysis this shows what might happen and prescriptive analytics this one shows like what should we do all right yeah thank you benefits of big data analytics faster decision making cost reduction and operational efficiency improved data driven actions since most businesses nowadays are data centric so there be improved actions steps in business data analytics first step is to collect the data from various sources the next step is data preparation data cleansing and data analysis actually this this is like i w- i wouldn't li- i wouldn't like you to concentrate much on this one because this is more likely of the of, of it's more likely than the crypt dm of which we've covered and uh, we have a video of crypt dm actually that that's a guideline given out international guideline given out for data mining process yeah 
challenges of big data analytics is inaccessibility due to complexity in data based management system data quality management time consuming to manage due to various sources of data formats data security choosing the right to these are like some of the challenges in big data analytics but uh, we we have uh, we have another video on the challenges of data analytics actually it covers more of this i'll recommend you to if you've not watched that video please make a step of watching that video it comprises all the challenges of data analytics so there that's the end of big data and big data analytics it's a very very simple very very simple uh, illustration and uh, i like to say that uh, as I was saying, I like to say that uh, we have we have the notes, both soft copy and hard copy, for the theoretical part of business data analytics. We also have questions, questions for the practical part. Actually, we have a lot of questions. So, like all these, it's a, they are at affordable prices. Um, my email address is in the link provide in the comment sections also with my whatsapp number you can communicate with me and uh, i'll send over the notes and uh, life continues so um see you in the next video bye